Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we will look at how to create a weighted average using the sum product function. So on screen I have some assessments and some scores and in cell G2 I have a simple average function returning the arithmetic mean, you know, the average of those scores which currently results in 79 but that average assumes that each data point uh, they're equal and that's not always the case uh, you may have heard or required to create a weighted average where the different values some of them have a greater weight than others which has been determined on this spreadsheet by a percentage uh, but depending on the data you work with, it could be something else like calculating the, um, the average price and you have quantities as the weight or some other data point. Now we're going to use the sum product function for this. Uh, those of my loyal subscribers among you will know how much I love this function. And for those that are new, I'll put a link in the description of this video uh, to another of my sum product videos because if you're new to it, it's something you want to learn. Right now, it's perfect for this job though, because to create a weighted average, we need to multiply the values by their weight. So we need to multiply the 66 by 5%, and the 85 by the 5%, and the 70 by the 10%, and so on. Then we're going to sum up those products that are returned by the multiplication, and divide it by the sum of the weights. That's how it's done. So let's look at this in action in Excel. Cell G3 is where I'm going to put it. And here we go with the sum product function. As its name implies, absolutely perfect for what we need right now. Because in this sum product function, it will prompt me for the arrays. Array 1 is the array of scores. I then put in my comma, array 2 is the array of weights. So it will multiply each score by their weight and then sum those products. So after it's multiplied C3 by D3 and C4 by D4, it will sum them. After that sum product, we then close that off and divide it by the sum of the weights. So I'll put in a normal sum function here and sum those weight values, which in this example is just equal to 100% because of the, the demonstration I'm doing here. But it may not be that way. So I want to demonstrate it uh, using this approach. So that is it. Do that sum product, divide it by the sum of the weights. When I press enter, the weighted mean average is 81. So that is a better representation, it may be deemed, of the average than the usual average function which assumes each data point to be equal. Here we're saying no they're not. Some of these have greater significance than others, greater weight. Please take into account 81 is the weighted average. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.